Welcome to the Armani Talks podcast. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this podcast, I'm helping you level up your five soft skills, public speaking, storytelling, social dynamics, emotional intelligence, and creativity. Five soft skills for you to change your life forever, skyrocket your confidence along the way. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about why I hate automated customer support. Recently, I tried to place an order from Popeye's, and I could have sworn that I ordered the Popeye's at the location right next to me, but apparently I chose the location that was in downtown Tampa. That's 35 minutes away from me. So I quickly went on customer support and tried to say that I chose the wrong location for my Popeye's order. And that's when I was greeted by a robot. Normally, I don't mind these robots too much on the apps. I've noticed whenever I'm talking on the phone and if I'm given a robot, It's pretty annoying, but on the apps, I've noticed that they're very smart and very accommodating. This robot was helping me out in the beginning stages. Uh, Eventually, the robot said, would you like a $15 uh, coupon? I thought, $15? I only spent $12 on the entire food, so sign me up. So I chose the $15 coupon option. Afterwards, I noticed that I did not get the $15 coupon option. They said that it was immediately going to be available to me, but it wasn't. So I go back and I'm trying to talk to this robot again and ask, hey, where's my $15 coupon? And this time it's giving me the runaround. It's saying, oh, well, we're working on it, sir. Oh, it's already there, sir. Uh, Are you sure you didn't get it, sir? I'm like, I'm sure, bro. I'm on the road. I'm hungry. What's up with this? And that night, I realized that I'm most likely not going to get the Popeyes. I decide to wait. I've been waiting for a couple of days and still no $15 coupon. I've noticed that with customer support, whenever it's automated, it always ends up bad. I believe that companies should use robots for customer support only when categorizing. So use robots to see what type of issue the customer is facing in the first place. Once you discover what type of issue it is, in my situation, it's a coupon-related issue. Once you identify the issue, immediately assign a human being. Because it's not a good look when a human being is giving uh, the customer the runaround. But it's even worse when it's a darn robot giving the runaround. Avoid that. It is not a good look for your brand at all. Whenever you are thinking, hmm, I'm scaling. Should I just automate the customer support away? The answer is no. Do not fully automate it because your customer support will always be your brand ambassador. And if you are wasting other people's time in a time of need, they will be annoyed by you. So if you enjoyed today's talk and you want to get more insights like this into running a business, especially in today's complex world, and how to use communication skills to your advantage, be sure to sign up for the Armani Talks free daily newsletter. Within this newsletter, you will learn much more about social skills, public speaking skills, writing skills, and much more. Join the tribe by going on armanitalks.com slash newsletter and sign up today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.